Hi Pisces, welcome back and you're watching the Sacred Sun Tarot. Let's quickly see what is April 2022 bringing for you, right? Reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases, but don't force the reading on your situation. Let's quickly see what is coming up for Pisces as we enter April 2022. And what do you need to hear, Pisces? Oh, holy. Two cards, transformation and queen of wands. So they can be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag in your surroundings, or this is simply you, right? For some of you, if you're dealing with a cancer, I'm sorry, the first message that came to my mind. If you're dealing with a fire sign, I see your connection with this person is transforming drastically this month. And if you are this queen of wands, right? Very attractive, crazy, you know, energetic, wanting to explore the world, and uh, feeling single available being seen confident i see your mindset towards your life your whole personal things maybe you know maybe your lifestyle maybe your romantic life i see everything transforming this month so i see some awakening happening here for some of you if there was a struggle i see moment to moment two of pentacles energy if there was flickeriness in your life, fun moment this, another moment this, why, you know, one moment you want this, another moment you want this. Or if you were dealing with somebody who was continuously struggling, one moment they're doing this, another moment they're doing that, or this is you trying to manage multiple things together. I see this is the month of transformation. This is the month where you're going through awakenings and uh, you're being more available for the world. You're ready to be seen. And I see that you're sharing some gifts. You're getting insights from the universe and you're sharing your gifts with the world, right? So for a lot of you, I just see you as a go-getter this month. You're more available. You're more seen. You're like, okay, if I'm having something, I should, you know, I should be seen with that quality. In your work life, I see you coming up very beautiful, very attractive. People seeing your worth. In your personal life, I see you, you're the action taker. In your romantic life, I see you as the action taker. And you're taking the charge to transform, transform, I'm sorry, the things in your surroundings. So I'm getting a beautiful vibe here. Let's dive in. Let's see what Tara has to say. We have Ten of Swords, we have uh, the Temperance and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, for some of you, I see that uh, recently, or this is the current energy going on, there is a shift happening in your life, right? And this is the moment-to-moment -moment energy I'm getting here with the Death card. There's some chapter which is, which is just changing. Now, Ten of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, Death, these cards are about dropping something off and starting something new right it's very wrong interpretation that something is ending or dying and never going to revive or something like that no that is something which is bringing change in your life so maybe your mindset your outlook your perspective about things are going to change and change in such a way that they're not going back you know if in past you were just like flickery energy that right now you're thinking this and 10 minutes later you're like okay no that is not what i want this is something different right if this if there's so much flickeriness in your energy i see as you proceed in this month you're going to be far more stable you're going to be far more grounded it's like stepping back analyzing understanding calming yourself down and this requires some trigger right universe is going to give you that trigger where you feel that i'm exhausted i'm done i can't do this anymore i just want to drop dead that is going to happen from the side of the universe universe is going to give you that moment where you have to understand that you have to step back and calm yourself down you're overdoing things the moment you realize that you're stepping back and you're like okay i need to calm myself down i need a vacation i need to just i just need to be free for some time i need to fill my own cup you might step back from your relationships you might step back from your current projects you might simply step back from the exhausting lifestyle you have right now for some something which is stable for something which is in you right to gather that stability within you 
This is needed because you have to turn the Queen of Wands. You have to come out really confident. And this is coming towards you from the universe, right? So if these changes are happening in your life, therefore you're good, right? Acknowledge them, embrace them. A lot of cards showing me that massive shift is happening here. So you have to, uh, you know, somehow adapt to it. Wow, Ten of Cups. And... Um, I know you don't see this coming because if you're starting with the Ten of Swords, you're just at this point when things are so low, dead low, you know, rock bottom energy, you just can't think of this and you just don't see this at that time. You just want to recover from this. But very soon, as this transformation takes place, ending, healing, independence, and eventually the wish come true, happiness, and the happily ever after. So this is how universe works, right? This is this is the cycle of universe. I see that um, there's something that has to end, and you're dragging it for a very long time. You know that you have been backstabbed. There was betrayal. That was cheating. And if even if not cheating, I don't really see specifically cheating. But I see that this was tiring for you. You were trying to do something which was probably not meant for you. Or you have had your lessons and that situation now has to die out. You're getting that acknowledgement. You're getting that understanding from the universe. And Nine of Pentacles, the moment you understand that you heal, you're independent and happy, right? Ten of Cups coming your way, April 2022. Amazing. Ten of Cups is happiness, abundance. And this is based on justice again two of pentacles twice here i see this is based on justice this is based on justice prices and i see a lot of uh, emotions that have to be dealt with right i see you're very emotional in this phase you might feel that my heart breaks every time i try to work on this you know it happens and then you're like for some of you you know it happens that we put in small effort and when we, we don't see the result we're like panicking all the time that this never goes in my favor i'm never going to try this again but this is not how it works you know um oh my god okay this is part of uh, the massive transformation you have to go through amazing oh my god i'm getting such good cards in the near future as you proceed forward but there's something you have to deal with first right for some of you i'm getting this message pisces that before your life completely transforms just one more time you have to face something again which you don't want to face now i know you some of you will bite me for this some of you will you know fight with me for this but one last time you will have to face something before it dies completely it can be a difficult past chapter can be a situation that you never want to see again can be something that you feel that this is drop dead for me i'm not doing this again you have to see it one more time because justice you know it's like before the circle comes back to the finish the starting point again the circle is going to get over only when you will come back to the point from where you started it has to complete justice has to be established so this is karma this is justice so you have to see something once again before it dies out completely because universe wants to give you justice right so you're not going to be the same the point again when i'll say that you're coming back 360 degrees you will feel that i'm just coming back from where i started no you don't understand there's a difference between zero and 360 right though they might be at the same point but zero is negligible it's it's you know you have nothing no experience altogether zero but when you go full circle and come back to the starting point that's the point you're coming back with victory that's the point you're coming back with experience you know your life is not the same again you might have to start over you might have to you know enter into a new cycle after this altogether from the scratch but you're not starting with a zero you're starting with an experience now so justice has to serve here, Pisces. You might not like it in the beginning. You might feel that this is too much, too clumsy for me. I don't know if I can do that. But you have to, honey. You have to, right? You have to deal with these emotions because universe wants you to be in Ten of Cups, right? Universe is offering you this Ten of Cups, but the transformation is real. Okay, let's see what else. 
we have two swords just so much not ready to oh beautiful okay okay five of wands now i see you so conflicted not ready to open up blocking your heart and you're like i can't do that i see a strong fight with the universe that i can't do that i'm blocking myself no matter how much you try honey if it is if it is a cycle you have to go through then you will have to go through it so be excited right for some of you i see the conflict is real you have so much conflict surrounding a commitment surrounding a partnership you're feeling stuck you don't know what's going to happen next there's so much conflict in your mind but two of swords shows me that um, in the beginning you feel that i need to block this I can't open up. I cannot make the decision. The struggle is real, especially when you have gone through this justice energy and you're like, okay, um, this can be some separation, something that has to be, uh, you know, released now because that was unhealthy and unfair. You're getting the karma back now. You're getting the justice here. You're going to be in the denial mode for some time. But then Page of Wands shows me that a new idea is going to come into your mind in the near future. I see 11.11 on the screen as I say this. So there's a new idea coming to your mind and you feel that, okay, what's wrong? What's wrong in exploring this? For some of you, I just feel that in the beginning, you're just not ready. You know, this is your happiness. I see this is something that makes you happy, but there's some kind of stubbornness in your energies and there's so much conflict in your mind about the situation. But eventually, I see page of wands starting thinking about this and you just want to explore it and knight of pentacles at the end the moment you're ready the moment you're like okay i'm ready to level up and see what it, it offers me the opportunity comes in so interestingly the universe is not going to give you this opportunity till the time you're ready for it and the moment you level up and look up to the sky and tell the universe that okay i'm ready for this give it to me now here comes the opportunity right Wow, Pisces, I see mixed energies though, but eventually it's like what you deserve is going to come to you, right? Wow, okay, Pisces, what's this ending? What's this ending happening? Four of Wands, Four of Swords. Okay, for some of you, I see you going through a very terrible phase where you're just tired. You just want to give up on something. And meanwhile, there's a connection which is banging your door. Or there's a connection you want to be a part of. But you're just silent about it. You're like, okay, I don't know if I can deal with it. There's apology here. Yeah, okay, there's an apology. There's an um, energy where someone wants to reconcile. But you're like, okay, I'm so drop dead right now. I just can't look at it right now. Yeah, Queen of Swords. For some of you, I see you stepping back from somebody who's really stubborn. Or uh, there are people who are wanting answer and they are coming up front and they're trying to argue with you they're trying to get clarity what are you doing Pisces why are you not doing this why are you doing this and you know questioning you arguing but you're like okay I, I'm not part of it I'm sorry anytime I'm stepping back if I just can't be the part of this right now because I'm going through too much right that's the energy you're brushing away any kind of compulsion coming towards you, any kind of argument coming towards you, you're like, okay, I need to stay independent from it for a while because I'm healing. If you don't understand that, buzz off, right? Yeah, I see there's a disappointment surrounding a connection in your life and you're very upset because you feel that this is your happily ever after. There is some energy around you which you really want to be a part of. But you're very upset and you're very defensive. I see you super attracted. And there's an offer of a new beginning here, which is coming with the tower moment. You're like, okay, if I just lose this chance, it's going to fall away from me, right? And you're very attracted to it, I see. But Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands shows me that there's, there's so much guardedness in your energies that I don't know what to do. Seven of Cups. And for some of you, I see you don't want to make a decision in confusion. So if something is super confusing right now, maybe you have options. Maybe you're just confused that should I or should I not? So you're not going to make the decision in confusion. And that's a very good thing to do. You know, if you're not ready, if you're, you don't have that mindset right now to commit, to settle, or to just give you 100% into something, don't do that. Yeah, for some of you, I see you struggling. You, you need time. I see there's an emotional struggle happening. You're continuously getting messages to manifest something by somebody. There's a person who is waiting for you to level up and manifest. 
but there's a continuous struggle i see a lot of emotional dissatisfaction here pisces and you guys are super confused so you might feel like walking away for some time here right okay so what is this two of swords i see you creating emotional distance and taking some time off to think about it right you're just not ready right now ace of wands okay wonderful page of okay all right so for for some of you i'm getting this message that towards the end uh, as you you know around in the middle of uh, april i'm getting here there's some potential commitment banging your door potential commitment if you're single or simply just uh, after this whole phase you might return to your original commitment your partnership if you're married to somebody you might just you know after all this conflict you might settle there completely after some conscious decisions i see that there is a new opportunity banging your door and there are some back and forth messages surrounding that connection right but uh, again i'm getting here that you want to go out and explore it but when it comes to stabilizing things looking at the situation from the long-term perspective i see you resisting it there's so much control here prices there's so much um, resistance in your energies i'm picking up you're so confused and i see this is a conscious decision to not to make a decision and stay silent if you're not sure about something i see you doing that Three of Swords, yeah. Great sadness that we heed with time. Let go of past. Personal growth that comes from challenges. Healing misunderstandings. Being there for those who need. So, I see, I see some healing is happening here. I don't know what you guys have gone through. But there has been some massive ending in your life recently. World. And you guys are just so much into that energy right now. That you're not recognizing the opportunities here. A brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and the spiritual enlightenment. Freedom to do whatever you want, be proud of yourself. So, you know what, you might be looking at the situation that ended recently in a very negative light. You feel that you're conflicted, you're hurt, you're healing from it and you're so pissed off. You might feel like stepping back. But in reality, I see how universe is, you know, replying to that thing is that you guys have had a brilliant success in something if it failed it was meant to fail Pisces and um, I think you deserve something far better which is about to knock your door very soon or which is actually banking your door but you're just failing to see it right now because you're healing from something terrible so I do see that a big time of joy spiritual enlightenment and freedom is coming your way provided you deal with this energy i saw three of swords twice for you in this reading so i'm okay <laughs> i'm just getting a vibe that you guys need to calm down and heal from something before you open your door to this new opportunity banging your door right so okay what do pisces needs to hear something popped off luck is on your side pisces luck is on your side the answers you need are coming and it's time to take action i see you're very confused about a specific thing in your life if you are looking for answers or if you want to have answers here i see universe is giving you the answer very soon just be open to receive unlikely there's something you are uh, you know holding on to which is unlikely you have to let it go right opportunity and again the only message i get here is that do not be so consumed in past that you fail to see the beautiful new opportunity banging your door. So come out and grab it. Sometimes you just have to take action. It's time to take action. You just have to take action, Pisces. No matter how difficult it appears at that time, but universe will flow, flow along with you, right? So it's time to take action. Gentlemen, beautiful, out. Okay, I see some eyes at you. Maybe more than one person is interested in you, but there's, there can be a gentleman personality here who really wants to have a chance here. Okay, that's interesting. So this is what I have for you for now. Pisces, thank you so much guys for watching. Bye-bye.